Richard Long is one of the best-known British conceptual and land artists. He lives and works in Bristol, United Kingdom, the city in which he was born in 1945. Considered one of the most influential artists of his generation, Richard Long's works have extended the possibilities of sculpture beyond traditional material and methods. Many of his sculptural and photographic works reflect a response to the environments he walked in and in which he deliberately changed the landscape in some way, as in a line made by walking that he made in 1967 while still a student. The photograph of the path left by his feet in the grass established a precedent that art could be a journey. Sometimes he created sculptures in the landscape from rocks, wood or similar found materials he then photographed. He expanded his walks to wilderness regions all over the world, exploring different ecological systems in which clouds, mountains, riverbanks, snowscapes, grasslands and even mud could become a major theme. A retrospective of Long's work appeared in 2009 entitled Heaven and Earth at the Tate Britain. Alongside sculptures and photographs, Long also created text works, including place names and phenomena as a vocabulary for both original ideas and powerful condensed narratives. Some very nice examples of his text works can be found in 16 Works, an artist book he made in 1984 for Anthony Dauphé Gallery and Coracle Press. It was published in an edition of 1,000 soft copper copies and 500 signed hardbound copies. One of the hardbound copies in a beautiful yellow cloth finish is shown here. By also sculpturing the spatial arrangement of text, he combined land art and visual poetry and created a medium that was particularly relevant to artist books. Richard Long has always been strongly involved in the creation of exhibition catalogues to the level where it becomes difficult to differentiate between an exhibition catalogue and an artist book, but see my website for a possible listing. The collaboration between Long, Anthony Dauphé Gallery and Coracle Press proved to be fruitful as they made several books like 12 works in 1981 that's shown here and the pretty Leporello A Walk Past Standing Stones in 1980 that I will discuss sometime later. I hope you enjoyed this clip. My next movie will be on another British environmental artist named Hamish Fulton. See you then!